Okay, this is a test to assess the movement accommodation factor between a polyurethane, Cicaflex PU polyurethane, and an MS, which is, stands for modified silicone. Okay, in general, modified silicones only possess approximately 15% of the bond strength of a polyurethane. Here we have two materials, the modified silicone, bonded without a primer to concrete and exactly the same for the polyurethane bonded without a primer to concrete okay start with the MS we put it in the device <coughs> we wind the handle You'll notice the bond has gone immediately very small movement accommodation factor but more importantly where the failure has occurred the failure has occurred at the bond interface so if this was a floor your wooden floor would be bonded to your concrete and using expansion and contraction in shear that floor would have failed very very quickly okay we'll now do the polyurethane Again, we center the test piece in the jig. <coughs> and we wind. Can you see that? Takes a lot more pressure, this one. As you can see, it's moving a lot more, or stretching a lot more. We're now well past a thousand percent. It's becoming more difficult to actually stretch. <coughs> the material is starting to fail. But notice how it's failing. It isn't bond interfaced where it's fail, it's cohesive within the material. So when we look at the mode of failure, the bond is still intact. It's the adhesive itself which failed at this extreme amount. Again, if that was a wood floor, it means your wood floor will be able to expand and contract with the change in seasons as it is required. Proof, if ever you needed to see it, that polyurethanes are better suited for bonding wood floors than modified silicones. <coughs>